Hello everyone. Today I'm here to talk about one of the economic problems in India, which is nothing but environmental degradation. Environmental degradation poses a strong economic problem for India, with far-reaching consequences for both the present and the future generation. In this video, I'll be exploring about various dimensions on this issue, potential solutions, and the challenges entering this implementation. So, starting with the core problem. At its core, environmental degradation refers to the deterioration of the environment through depletion of resources, pollution, habitat destruction, and climate change. In India, uh, rapid industrialization, urbanization, and population growth have exacerbated these challenges. So, let's talk about what are the levels that we have seen these uh, core problems are harming uh, to the environment. So. Talking about air and water pollution, soil erosion, loss of biodiversity, and climate change are among the most pressing concerns. These issues are not only harming ecosystems but also impacting human health, agriculture, and also economic productivity overall. So, what are the ongoing solutions that we have uh, for these problems? So, let's talk about that. So, understanding that. What we see, there are measures to address this environmental degradation, which are nothing but uh, investment in renewable energy, like solar and wind power, can reduce reliance on fossil fuels and mitigate climate changes. Afforestation programs, which kind of restore the degraded land and preserve biodiversity. So it's also something like improve waste management systems, can minimize pollution and promote recycling. So these are one of, like few of the solutions that are ongoing. However, implementing these measures faces a numerous challenges, economic interest, uh, bureaucratic uh, influences, inefficiencies, what we actually say, and lack of public awareness often obstruct the overall process in implementing these solutions. So moreover, historical patterns of resource exploitation and unsustainable development um, so have deeply rooted these effects. So again, like uh, in the collaborations or the conferences across the world that we see are uh, very crucial when it comes to having this uh, solutions measures implemented. India's participation in global environmental agreements and initiatives can foster cooperation and exchange of best practices. Additionally, Talking about this is policies that in incentivizes uh, sustainable practices, penalizes environmental violations can drive uh, a positional change, a positive change that India can have. Uh, lastly, talking about the short term and the long term goals. So creating a timeline implementation is essential. Uh, again, short term goals may include immediate measures to reduce pollution levels. Uh, protect critical ecosystems that are uh, out there. Long-term goals should uh, focus on transitioning a sustainable and a resilient economy, uh, which is robust enough to sustain for a long period. Uh, and concluding overall, addressing uh, this environmental degradation is not just an environmental imperative, but also an economic necessity. Uh, as we see India as an emerging uh, economy. So these are the concerns that we need to address and taking proactive steps towards this will lead a better future. So thank you.